Hi beauties, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. Happy to have you. I am bored today, okay? It is really, really crummy outside. It's rainy, it's crappy. I have the day off work. Um, I just kind of wanted to film an eyeshadow palette collection, which I have never done on my channel. Um, really for no particular reason. Like I said, I, uh, I actually have gone through recently and I've decluttered my, well, I've kind of whittled down my ColourPop palettes. Um, I bought some empty Z palettes. I went through all my ColourPop palettes just because I know that they can be easily depotted got rid of the shades that I don't necessarily use and just picked the ones that I really liked that are special. So I have in a way kind of already started decluttering. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go through everything I have. Yes, son. Okay, sorry. Um, the toddler strikes again. Um, anyway, let's just go through my palettes. I want to get a good look at them. I think at this point I've actually used everything aside from maybe one or two palettes that's in my collection and those are very, very, very new. So yeah, let's just run through everything. Not going to be a declutter yet at this point. Uh, let's just get an overview of what I have. Okay. And these videos are always fun to watch, at least for me. I don't know. Eyeshadow palettes are, um, one of the favorite pieces in my makeup collection. So let's dive into it. I'm just going to show you really quickly how I store everything. So I have a few palettes sitting out already. I actually had these out because I was going to film another video with them, which I have not yet, but that's okay. I have this little, like, it's like a light nightstand type thing. I got it off Amazon because I don't know, there was a part of me that just like didn't want to order another one of these. But in hindsight, I wish I just would have went ahead and ordered two of them and had them side by side. But anyway, I do like this thing. I am able to like charge my phone in it. I can plug other things up here, but I do keep palettes right here. I keep my shot, my stash stuff down here, my caboodle. Um, and then in this, I have one drawer that's dedicated to not only palettes, but I do have singles in here as well. I don't have that many singles. Um, I, I'm probably not even gonna run through those today, but the palettes are pretty deep. They're all stacked and stacked in here. So I'm gonna pull all these out. I don't know that I'm gonna take the time to organize them by brand. Um, we'll see how I feel. Okay. So here we are. I have a lot of palettes stacked up here. I have them on this stool in front of me. Um, I really don't know the best place to start. I guess let's just start with, um, let's start with these smaller ones here. A lot of these are drugstore. Um, ooh, okay. Well, I guess let's start with these. Just these are right in front of me, my Kaleidos. These are the Futurism palettes. I think they have like seven of these now. I only have three. This is the turquoise, the electric turquoise palette, which I love. This is such a, Kaleidos formula is, I think, fantastic. Um, I think everything works really well. I haven't had an issue with it. Their shimmers are absolutely just so, so special. This turquoise is really, really unique to my collection. This silver is, oh God, I'm already starting off swatching, <laughs> but they're just so pretty. I'm going to try to show these to you. The lighting is not great here, but you can see the reflectiveness there. Super, super pretty. Yeah, that turquoise is, it's definitely unique to my collection. The next Kaleidos palette I have is the Sci-Fi Green. 
And also, like, just the packaging on these, I think, is so special. Like, I really do think that they did such a fantastic job of curating these palettes. Like, I feel like the design on the outer packaging really mimics the, or represents the color story inside really well. This one is fantastic too, more of just a neutral sort of grungy, you have some like this mustard yeast type yellow slash brown, you've got these greens, again the shimmers are out of this world. And the last of my Kaleidos palettes here is the Astro Pink. And again, like the packaging is just, it really, really is special. I love it. I, I love these palettes. Um, and once more, these shimmers, this like lavendery silver type shimmer, this turquoise, it's almost like a duochrome. It's like a turquoise, but it's got some purple in it. So, so unique to my collection. This is probably my favorite of the three. Okay, moving on, my Nabla cutie palette. I have the platinum edition. This is what it looks like. Very, very beautiful, cool toned. Um, I have only used this once, but I really, really loved the formula. I was, I used four out of the six shadows when I used it. Um, so I was able to get a pretty good feel for the formula. I really do like Nabla's formula. Their mattes are super, super soft. Everything blended well. Love this. Um, I actually think Nabla is on sale, like 50% off in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty this month. I might. I'm debating whether or not I should pick up another cutie palette. If you have one that you have tried, one of these little six pan ones that you really love, um, let me know because I do kind of have my eye on these. My Glamlight Street Taco palette. Um, I got this in Glamlight's foodie box that they came out with this summer. Um, this is pretty. It was my first, well, it's my first and only experience with Glamlight's formula. Um, I've only used it once. It was fine. I didn't have any issues with the formula. Um, I really don't think I have any other like neon, just super bright shades like this in my collection. And, you know, again, I do think the formula was great. So, um, yeah, I can, I can see myself pulling this out in the next few months here, the summer months. My Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. Um, if you have watched my channel at all, you know how I feel about this. This is one of my favorite palettes ever and I really think everybody should own it. <laughs> I think it's so so fantastic. This formula is like, it's just next level for a drugstore price. I think this palette's like around 20 bucks. The pans are huge. Um, it's just, it's stunning. This Wet n Wild color, I can open it, this color icon palette. I filmed with this, filmed to get ready with me. This is really, really great quality for drugstore price. Wet n Wild reformulated all their eyeshadows like this recently. Um, this is the only one I've tried. I have watched videos on the other ones. They all seem to me of pretty equal quality. So if you see a color story you like, um, I don't know. I would encourage you to try it. It's This was super, super affordable and I like this palette a lot. I have, whoa. I have, um, oh my gosh, did I rip the name off of that? Yeah, I guess I don't have the palette name, I'm sorry. My one and only Natasha Denona palette, I have the mini Zendo, I have used this multiple times, I absolutely love it, absolutely love it, I think the shadows are gorgeous, this, um, it's like a shimmery, like, plum color 
it's so so pretty the mattes blend beautifully this like taupey color here is really really pretty on the eyes um i've loved every look i've got from this palette i have two of these these are the revlon so fierce quads they came out with several different versions of these this is the big bang i have to be careful with this because the brown will fall all the way out but these are really nice shadows i actually have enjoyed these um they are they're not the most pigmented i which i don't i haven't necessarily come to expect from drugstore brands um but i enjoy them if you are someone who just wants something affordable if you like one and done one and done shadow looks um these are actually quite some of them are almost like duochrome-y um they're really really pretty i've enjoyed this palette and then i also have the which one is this um slight flex which this is probably my favorite of the two this one is definitely a duochrome this looks stunning again just as like a one shade look all over the lid this is really pretty too it's kind of unassuming like it just kind of looks like a just a creamy you know neutral color but it almost has like a little bit of it's got this sheen to it that looks really pretty just swiped all over the lids um i yeah i really have enjoyed these palettes None of the other color stories really spoke to me that much, but again, if you see a color story that you do particularly like, I would maybe encourage you to try these. I think for I think for drugstore price and formula, they're pretty decent. Um, I have got this LA Girl Nine Pan Shadow. This is in Keep It Playful. Is that the name of it? Yeah, no, Keep It Playful is the collection. Sorry, this is for play. The one that I have. Very, very warm copper tones. Um, if you know anything about the LA Girl formula, you know that the shimmers, while they are absolutely stunning on the lid, they look so beautiful. They're so pigmented. They're very flaky. They can have a tendency to be very flaky. If you don't use some kind of like primer or glitter glue, you will more than likely end up with fallout all over your face. Um, so just a cautionary tale, but they are really, really pretty. I've only used this palette a couple of times, but um, warm tones like this I love. So I enjoyed it. I have two other LA Girl palettes. I have the Pro Artistry. I have, these are their 16 pan palettes. So this is this one. Um, I love this palette. I really do. Um, these blues are absolutely gorgeous on the lids. All these neutral colors blend so well again the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous as long as you use some sort of primer um i really really enjoy both of all these palettes actually the la girl palettes and the formula really kind of surprised me this is the pro mastery palette um certainly the most um well more neutral than than the artistry for sure um, I have probably used this one the most, these sort of like rosy mauve tones. I adore, absolutely adore. I've loved every look I've got out of these. I love that there's, um, you do have like the rosy pinks, you've got um, these peachy shades, uh, and then you do have some deepening shades here. So yeah, I really, really love these palettes. Okay, let's talk ColourPop because like I was mentioning at the beginning of the video, I used to have um, about seven or eight ColourPop palettes. I went through and depotted a lot. Well, no, I didn't even depot a lot. I think in total I only depotted about 20, 21 shades or something from all eight of the palettes. 
Um, I only kept two of my ColourPop palettes totally intact. The first is this Wild Child palette. This is really, really new to my collection within the last few weeks, I would say. This is um, one of the more like deep, rich, um, saturated palettes that they have come out with. I've only used this once. Um, I really enjoyed the look I got out of it. These tones, again, are right at my alley. I love these. I know that I can create a look with these type of shades that will look beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I've enjoyed this a lot. I've enjoyed all the pieces of this collection too. I got the lippy sticks, I got the blushes, and I got the Super Shock shadows, and they're all really, really pretty in my opinion. And then my ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie at Forest Sight palette. Um, I there's no way I could depot this palette. I really, really love this palette. I really do. Um, I don't wear blues and greens a lot. However, I did use. I've used every single shade in this palette, and I have loved it. Again, I've loved every single look I've gotten out of these. These jewel-toned, like these grungy jewel-toned shades are so, so beautiful. This formula is wonderful. Um, the only, I guess, if I had to have a gripe with this palette is this evergreen shade. It is not nearly as beautiful as what I was hoping. It's just, it's not impactful. Um, yeah. It just, it doesn't really excite me, which kind of sucks because it's really, really so pretty. But um, yeah, I still, still doesn't take anything away from this palette for me. I love this. All right, and I'm just going with what's in front of me. My BH Blueberry Muffin Palette. This is like the makeup phenomenon of 2020, I feel like. <laughs> Everybody was obsessed with this palette, um, and for good reason. It's so pretty. I've used this multiple times. I have filmed with this on my channel. Um, BH is was sort of like the dark horse this last year, I feel like, makeup-wise. They have really come out with some absolutely stunning products. This is certainly no exception. These 16 pan palettes they have are... They're so, so good in quality. I have had BH palettes in the past. I've used, I had like their Galaxy Chic palette back when baked eyeshadows were all the, all the rage. Um, I don't ever remember being like blown away by BH's formula, but I absolutely have been this past year. These, all these palettes are so, so pretty. Another BH, this is my love in London very um more cool toned shades here cool tones and um cool and warm actually it's a very nice sort of like neutralish palette um loved this again i have filmed with this really really love this palette really do my shan exo native palette um this is the only thing i've ever ordered from native or exo beauty I absolutely adore Shan XO. I've been watching her for so, so long. This palette, as soon as I saw her release or her reveal video for this, I knew that I had to have it. It's so my speed. Um, and I, this is fairly new to my collection. I mean, I would say within the last few months, couple months, I think I got it in, well, I don't, what is time anymore, you guys? I don't know. Everything, all the days are running together. I know that I got it within the first few months of this year, within 2021. Um, and I've used it multiple times. It's, it's so beautiful. It really, really is. Everything blends well, all these colors. Uh, I just feel inspired when I look at this. I know I'm going to be able to create something that's lovely. So really glad to have this. My Paulina by Blush Tribe palette. Um, I love this palette. Paulina is a YouTuber that I discovered last year just when I was um, 
watching YouTube for 12 hours a day in quarantine. Um, this is a collab that she did with Blush Tribe. Blush Tribe is a company that is no longer even in existence, so I don't think you can get this palette anywhere anymore. This is one of the brightest palettes that I own. I love this color story. I've only used it a couple of times. I think part of me is kind of scared because I know that you can't get it anymore and I just don't really want it to be gone, but I, that's a stupid reason to not use something. So I am excited to use this more. The shimmers, I really like Blush Tribe's formula. Um, I don't really know like what happened there, what, you know, why they went out of business and now her, um, she, Blush Tribe went out of business. She started another cosmetic company, Myali Beauty, and now they're going out of business. So I don't really know what the story is, but I do think this is a good formula and I am really happy to have this palette. My Sydney Grays, Tiny Marvels. I have talked about this palette so much on my channel, I feel like. Um, I'm sure you know how I feel about it. It's, it's so freaking fantastic. I don't know if it is still for sale. If you can get your hands on this, I would absolutely recommend it. I think that this is, I've never tried Sydney Grace formula. Sydney Grace formula, I think, marvels anybody else out there. I really, really do. I, I think that this formula is so incredibly easy to work with. These shimmers are like nuts. They are so beautiful. Um, I, I just love this. I, ab I, I couldn't love this palette more. <laughs> End of story. The Carly Bible. Bible? Bible? I don't know. Um, but you know who I'm talking about. This is her collab with ABH. I got this within the last year, even though like I've wanted this palette for so long, probably like since it launched. This, I love, I love this palette and I don't know why, I don't know. I don't know why people hated, <laughs> hated on this so much. I don't feel like it got very much love, but I think it's beautiful. It's I haven't had any issues with the formula. I think it's pretty typical of ABH formula. They are a little bit powdery in my opinion, but all these shimmers are beautiful. I have filmed with this. I think I've used this multiple times on my channel. Um, and I have, I, I again, I've loved every single look. I get compliments when I wear this palette. I... I see no issues with it, and I'm really glad that I finally bought it after all these years. My Sigma Corderosa palette. Um, this is my first experience with Sigma eyeshadows ever. This brush that comes in here is amazing. Actually a good quality brush. This palette, I know I've talked about before, it was in my top, what, top five palettes of 2020. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, like end of story period. It's absolutely gorgeous. The formula is beautiful. This is another palette that makes me feel incredibly, incredibly inspired and beautiful whenever I wear it. I love it. my Give Me Glow Vivid Rose palette. This is pretty new to me as well. I think I got this back in February. I've only used it once, uh, but I really like it. These are just not, they're not necessarily colors that I think about or want to reach for all the time, but this formula is fantastic. These shimmers are amazing, amazing quality. They're so, so reflective and like wet looking. And just gorgeous. Um, I'm really glad to have this. I actually wouldn't mind getting more Give Me Glow shadows, but I feel like every time I go to the website, whatever I want is sold out. So, okay, let's press on. This is Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. This is her more colorful palette here. Hopefully, you can see all of that. Um, I understand how polarizing Jaclyn Hill is. Um, she is not like, 
she's not the best person in the world. I don't think she has the best uh, business practices or business ethics, but um, I am glad to have this palette. I also have her original palette, which you'll see whenever I get to it, but uh, I do think that the formula in her palettes is great. I mean, I think she knows how to put together color stories and make eyeshadows. So I really do like this. I love that there are a really, really good variety of neutrals and you can experiment, you know, dip your toe in some really, really fun colors here too. I like this palette. Now let's go through my Juvia's place. I have the Nubian 2. This is in my Shop My Stash right now. I don't use this palette in enough palette enough but every time I use it I love it there are enough neutrals here for me to create something really simple if I want if you want to again if you want something bright all over your lid you can do that um yeah I like this Juvia's formula is great everything I don't have never had an issue with blendability or anything like that uh, Juvia's is again another one of those brands where if you see a color story that you like, I would, you know, I would, I would purchase it. It's, the formula is more than likely not going to let you down. You know, it's just a matter of finding, finding a color story that you like. They do have some, some unique color stories. I have the tribe here. This is one of my favorites. I got this about a year ago and I'm sorry, that's probably blinding on camera. I don't think they make this anymore. I think this is discontinued, which I have no idea why because it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't have anything quite like this in my collection. This looks very, very unassuming in the pan, but this color is so unique. It's like a green, Let's see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a green, like a greenish gold like duochrome almost I have no idea if I'm even I have no idea if I was even in frame for that but that color is so unique um yeah I I really like this palette my original Nubian my Juvia's um I really like this palette all neutrals all warm neutrals um this is another one that I just don't use enough. I just don't. Um, I feel like even despite the fact that there are, you know, there's deeper shades, there's mid-tone, there's lighter shades. I still feel like when I use this, I end up creating like the same look. I don't know. It's just like my, I don't know. But I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, I got the La Mariposa, which is their collaboration with Yami Angelina. I love this palette. I love this palette. I've used this a few times. I haven't used these two shades yet, but I've used everything else. Even this glitter, I really am not a fan of pressed glitters, but this glitter is beautiful. Uh, this pink and blue are just absolutely stunning on the lid. They're so, so pretty. Uh, so I am... I don't know if this is available anymore either, but I'm really glad I have this. Okay, let's get through this because I'm about halfway done. Um, the Topes by Juvia's. I just used this for the first time today. It is pretty. It is pretty. Um, these matte shades are, <laughs> they're so similar. They're so similar. Um, this shade barely deepened up my crease. I mean, barely. And I had to really, really build it up. The shimmers are pretty. Um, I just don't know that this is... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I might put this in my stash next round to use it more. I just don't know... Um, I guess it just hasn't impressed me, you know? I guess I was just kind of expecting more, just given what I've experienced from other Juvia's Place palettes. That's all. The Magic Mini. This is 
one of my favorites. Um, I mean, it's so, so stunning. You do have a few mats that are all beautiful. Um, some really, really gorgeous gorgeous jewel toned shimmers here it's just such a fun palette it's so much fun i love every time i pull this palette and use it it's yeah it's beautiful i really really like it and then this is super new i got this just a few days ago the warrior this is not new like to juvia's place it's not new at all, but um, I've been eyeing this for a really long time. I know it doesn't look exciting. It's just neutrals, <laughs> but um, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. Um, I, I cannot wait to use this again. I just feel like this is just sort of like my comfort zone with eyeshadow palettes and looks like I know that I'm going to be able to create something with this palette that will be really really beautiful and I like that all right so let's go through a few more this is another one that is super super new to my collection I got this within the last week this is the BFF collaboration with Alondra and Elsie and BH Cosmetics and again I'm sorry I literally have no idea who those people are um, I haven't even swatched this, you guys. This plastic is still on. Okay, there we are. Sorry. This is what it looks like. It's so gorgeous. Like, look at this. Like, this quad here, I love. This quad here, I love. These are... Oh, I cannot wait to play with this. I'll probably throw this in my next stash, too. And look at this. Like, can you just imagine, like, this shade... Salvadorena like blown out in your crease with this all over your lid like this palette is so beautiful to me and I really really hope that it is similar to you know the BH formula that we have all come to love because um yeah I think it could easily become one of my favorites if so my Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette I love this palette you guys um I was very on the fence with ordering this this past fall just because like I don't think I have ever put like a red eyeshadow on my lid before. Um, I don't think I've ever used a color like this before but um, I have really enjoyed this palette. I still have not used every single shade. I haven't used these two like that blue or that yellow. Um, I know that you are aware that the shimmers in here are really the star of the show. I mean, and they are. These shimmers are unlike absolutely anything I've ever used or anything, certainly anything that I have in my collection. I mean, they're very, very special. So I'm glad that I decided to, <laughs> decided to actually order this palette. And I can, I couldn't believe how affordable this was either. I think this was like less than $30, which is insane. My Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb Palette. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I'm not even going to lie to you. I had this in my stash a few months ago. I used it a couple times. There are so many pressed glitters in here. Two, four, six of them that I'm never going to use. Just never. The mattes are okay, like they didn't blow me away. The shimmers are pretty, they're not, they're not like the most impactful shimmer that I've ever used. So yeah, I don't know, I just kind of feel like lukewarm about this, pal this palette. I mean, it's beautiful, like to look at, it's really pretty to look at, but I just haven't had like the most fun using it, which kind of sucks, so. That's how I feel about that. Now this is a different story. My Midas and Smoky Glow palette. This is another palette that I seriously feel like everybody should own. This palette is so fucking beautiful. Everything that I create, I love with this palette. The mattes are wonderful. The shimmers are really, really special, actually. Like this Leno color, I love. 
Nutty is gorgeous. Um, these, these pink shimmers are really pretty. Instagram model is gorgeous. Dofa is so unique. I just, I adore this palette and I don't, I think this might still be available. I do think that they're going to start phasing this out. You won't be able to get this anymore, which is a damn shame. And then my Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. I know that you've seen this many, many times. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to, <laughs> not to blind you here with the mirror, but, um, yeah, that's it. This palette is gorgeous. I am so, so glad I bought it. And it's, I, again, I am able to create absolutely beautiful looks with this palette. Their BH palette, the Naughty palette, this was part of their holiday collection this year. Um, there is so much variety in here. And again, quality, wonderful. I have used this to film on my channel. It's in my stash right now. I've used it. Um, this shade is so pretty, this candied fruit shade all over your lid. It's like a little bit of a duochrome. Um, there's just so much, again, variety and depth in here. Um, I love it. I'm, I'm glad to own it. I, I'm not like the biggest fan of huge eyeshadow palettes anymore. I just don't find that I reach for them as often, but, but nonetheless, I like this. I'm glad to have it. And here's another large one that I actually really, really love. This is the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. This palette is gorgeous, but I do feel like I let kind of the YouTube hype um, <laughs> get to me, and that's why I bought this palette. But I will say I have used it several times. Um, it's very, very cool toned, which I actually love. Um, everything that I have used has worked and performed really well for me. The shimmers in this palette are gorgeous. I honestly don't remember having tried too many NYX eyeshadows, especially not palettes. I don't think I've ever had a NYX palette. I know I used to have like some singles from NYX, but this is really lovely. Uh, again, I don't typically buy or reach for like huge eyeshadow palettes these days, but I really, really do enjoy this. And my Profusion Enchanted palette. Um, <laughs> I need to use this thing, you guys. This is all shimmers. And they are really, really pretty. They are kind of like that sort of putty type formula, like the softer formula. But there are some really pretty shades in here. I don't know if I just don't reach for this because it's not like a... Um, you know, not necessarily like a whole complete palette. I would have to use this in conjunction with something else. But yeah, I mean, I, I just need to use, I don't think I've ever actually used this on my eyes, which is a shame. It really is because it's so pretty. It was so affordable. Um, I just need to pull it out. I, and that's why I'm going through this. I need to get an idea of like, what am I really not utilizing and to make it a point to do that so that I can get rid of things that I'm, you know, either not using, don't like. So I am going to, I'm going to make it a point to use, to get some use out of this. All right, my Pat McGrath's. This is, what do we have first? This is the um, Divine Rose 2. There she is. This is um, my newest Pat McGrath palette. It's gorgeous. It's, I mean, I feel like everybody knows at this point what Pat McGrath is capable of, what she's known for. I mean, this is, this palette is gorgeous. I've got the Decadence palette. This is an all shimmer palette. Um, this palette is like, 
it's like slightly vanilla scented. I think I read somewhere that the shadows are formulated with like Madagascar vanilla or something, but it smells really nice. Um, these shimmers are out of this world. I have used this to film on my channel as well. Um, I spent so long figuring out which Pat McGrath palettes I was going to buy and I went back and forth on getting this all shimmer palette but I'm really glad I did. I love this palette. And then lastly we have the bronzed seduction which is again just absolutely beautiful. Her special shades here are incomparable they really are mattes are great uh yeah love this love it my vive beauty the the essential palette i've gotten this within these last couple months as well i've already used this a ton i love this palette um the shimmers there's not necessarily like a ton of variety with the shimmers they end up I mean, they look relatively the same. Um, sorry, I was just saying, like, these, the shimmers are beautiful. There's not, like, a ton of difference in how they end up looking on the eye, but um, it's, the formula is just fantastic. The formula is fantastic. It's pigmented. Everything just blends like butter. I love it. The pans are huge. It's... It's just an experience like the packaging is gorgeous um, I'm really really glad to own this a couple more ABH my Norvina this is a repurchase I ran through the first Norvina palette that I had I mean I hit pan in just about everything in hindsight I probably just should have um, you know let it go I didn't need to repurchase it but a part of me was like, oh my god, I loved it so much. Like, I'll do that again. I'll run through it again. And of course I haven't, but <laughs> but I do really like it. It's one of my favorite ABH palettes. Um, I only have three Anastasia palettes, and I adore all of them. The last one being my Jackie Aina palette, which is so, so, so unique. Um, you will have to pry this from my cold dead fingers i'm never getting rid of this palette never ever ever the shimmers are so special this is I, i'm just consistently like inspired when i see this palette i want to use it i want to put it on my eyes every time i see it i love it Okay, we're down to my last few here. I do have just a few of the BH Sweet Shop palettes. I have the Orange Sorbet, which I love. I really don't have any orange eyeshadow, so I love having this. Um, I'm sure, as you've seen, this formula is pretty typical, like I said, of what we've seen from BH lately. It's, it's just fantastic. Everything blends great. The shimmers are beautiful. I have the pistachio palette, the green version. I have also filmed with this on my channel. Uh, love it. I love how that look turned out. And then I have the cotton candy palette. This is the pinks and purples. Um, I have not filmed with this, but I wore this in a video that I filmed, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, super, super pretty. I do not have tones like this in my collection. So, um, yeah, these palettes are just, they're, they're gorgeous. They really are. Okay. And we're ending with her. I knew we would get to her eventually. This is the original Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. This is the original formula, you know, before all of that crap happened. But I, again, I, look, I'm not <laughs> I'm not here to talk about Jacqueline as a person. I think some things she's done have been incredibly shitty and whatever. But I, I really, really love this palette. I had this in my stash last winter, like in November, I think, October, November. And this thing still performs at the same level it did when I first got it. I mean, these 
shades are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. This is like me in a palette. I mean, for real. Like, I love all these neutrals. If I'm going to do a pop of color, nine times out of ten, it's a blue or a purple. I love a good teal. Like, I just, I will forever love this palette. I will. I just will. I, you cannot convince me that this is not a fantastic, high quality palette. I cannot speak to it now. If you would go to purchase it now, I have heard that the formula is different, which again, sucks because this is amazing. But that is it. That's all my eyeshadow palettes, you guys. So hopefully that was fun to watch. Um, stick around, like, subscribe. I would love to have you, but take care of yourselves and take care of each other, beauties.